Good afternoon, everybody. This is Lisa. How's everyone today? This video is covered in the blood. I'm going to talk about going up higher in the Lord today. So, Father, may you bless everyone to come to the video, Father. Listeners, subscribers, viewers. Father God, we just thank you for another day. May we get insight, wisdom, knowledge, revelation. May your angels, Father, encamp around us this day now and forevermore. Holy Spirit, you're welcome in this place. Let your fresh anointing arise, arise within us. You knew us before the foundations of the world. You knitted us in the womb, of God. You are healer. Peace be still. In Jesus' name, amen. Yes, 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 yes. Father, may you bless the words coming out of my mouth. In Jesus' mighty name. How are you all today? Are you all having a good day? Are you rejoicing in the Lord? Putting away all anger. I know sometimes that might be a little hard to do when people can get on your last nerve. I understand it. But to have peace in God, that's just like everything, everybody. He is healer. Yeah, so God want us to go higher in him. He want us to reach a little higher. Even um, when we're, we're praying, when we're uh, meditating on him in our hearts uh, through his word, through grace, through, through mercy, because he is our friend. See, friendship with God is, is everything. He is such an awesome God, everybody, right? So if you will go with me in Hebrews 6.1, it says, Therefore, let us move beyond the elementary teachings about Christ and be taken forward to maturity. Not laying again the foundation of repentance from acts that lead to death and of faith in God. So the Lord says that he want us to go up higher in him in his presence. See, sometimes you, you might want to think that you can be safe, stand in, 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 in one spot, in one place. And fearing to go a little higher in God. But God want us to grow in him. See, Didymus, he was not growing because he was not believing if he didn't see. He had to stick his fingers in God's side in order to believe that it was the Lord. Okay? So God want us to go higher than Didymus. He want us to... To go higher, uh, to be planted and rooted in him. He says, Jeremiah 12, 2. You have planted them and they have taken root. They grow and bear fruit. You are always on their lips, but far from their hearts. See, but when our feet are rooted and planted in him on solid ground, Christ the solid rock, we grow and we bear more fruit. He says to be fruitful and multiply in Genesis where you will subdue the land. Okay. He says in Luke 17, 5, the apostle said to the Lord, increase our faith. So, Father, we asking right now that you will increase our faith so that we can reach higher in you and when you reach higher that means you're elevating you're being elevated above normal levels all right so you're, you're going higher in altitude all right just like the wings soar he says soar like eagle's wings that means you're being elevated to go above the normal level Okay, so we want to reach him as much as we can to be fulfilled in his presence. And when you're praying and you're reaching him a little higher, you can hear God more. All right. Luke 8, 14, 15. The seed that fell among thorns stands for those who hear. But as they go on their way, they are choked by life's worries, riches and pleasures, and they do not mature. See, that's when you start to stumble. See, there we go with Peter again in the water coming to God. When he stumbled for that moment, God says, come a little bit higher. 
But the seed on good soil stands for those with a noble and good heart who hear the word, retain it, and by preserving it, produce a crop. See, when we go higher, we pre produce more fruit. We, we produce more crops. We, 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 we serve in the Lord. All right. We're hearing God. We're doing what God says. Everyone, right? So God wants us to be higher in him, to grow in him, not to be stagnant in him. All right. And don't be scared to go a little higher. Second Corinthians 13, 5, 7. Examine yourselves to see whether you are in faith. Test yourselves, or do you not realize that this about yourselves, that Jesus Christ is in you? Unless indeed you fail to meet the test, I hope you will find out that we have not failed the test. But we pray to God that you may do wrong, that you may not do wrong. Not that we may appear to have met the test, but that you may do what is right, though we may seem to have failed. So we listen to God. We ask God to take us higher in him so we can grow in him spiritually, everybody. Because we want our hearts to be fulfilled with him. We want our hearts to be able to know him, to have that agape relationship with him, to have that strong relationship with him. When you have that strong relationship with God, you feel so much better. Okay? You can have that peace beyond all understanding. Romans 5, 2, 6, 2 through 6. Through him we have also obtained access by faith into this grace in which we stand and we rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Amen. Not only that, but we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance. I'm telling you, the suffering that we go through in this world, it produces endurance, it produces patience, it strengthens our character. It produces hope. God meets us in our valleys. And that's how we become stronger. I'm telling you. Your trials make you stronger, everybody. And hope does not put us to shame. Because hope does not put us to shame. Hope does not put us to shame, everybody. But put a, but because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. For while we were still weak at the time, Christ died for the ungodly. Amen. Holy Spirit. Philippians 1 9. And it is my prayer that you love that love may abound more and more with knowledge and all discernment. See, God gives us knowledge, He gives us great understanding. Job 8, 7, and though your beginning was small, your latter days will be very, very great. See, that's what he says. When you move up in him, when you praying a little higher in him, when you going up a little higher above the regular level, he teaches us to be grateful. He teaches us to, to, to know who he is, to, to know what he wants for us, he, to know what's right from wrong. All right, the first shall be last, the last shall be first. So he tests our hearts, everybody. So we want to grow in him. He, he will pour out his spirit in our hearts, in our minds. So he want us to be thirsty for him. When you thirst for knowledge and wisdom, he provides it. He provides it to you. But he says to know that he is the Lord thy God. And don't forget where you come from. When you have your breakthroughs, okay? Because he says, I am the Lord thy God, no one else. All right? So just like as fast as you went up, you can come down. So we must be thankful in him. We must reverence him. Know that he is the Lord thy God and no one else. And, and reverence him, okay? Always praise him. Always exalt him. Always boast in him. All right? And um, he's the author, finish, and perfect of our faith. He says, 1 Samuel 2, 26. And the boy Samuel continued to grow in stature and favor with the Lord and with people. Yes, 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 yes. So he wants us to grow just like Samuel grew. He wants to grow in knowledge. He wants us to grow in faith. 
He wants us to bow to him. But he wants us to come from milk-like faith to meat, to meaty-like faith. He wants us to continue to be nourished in him, to continue to worship him, to continue to seek him in his word, wisdom, and understanding. See, his spirit, his spirit gives us growth. It allows us to keep going in him. It allows us to be immersed in him, to strengthen us. See, he, he, he builds us up, everyone, right? Thank you, Jesus. He says in Colossians 2, 6, 7, So then just as you receive Christ Jesus as Lord, continue to live your lives in him, rooted and built up in him, strengthened in the faith as you were taught, and overflowing with thankfulness. Father God, let us be overflowing with thankfulness in you and, and to fill us up, Lord, less of us and more of you, Father. He says, Romans 5, 20, 21. The law was brought in so that the trespass might increase, but where sin increased, grace increased all the more. So that just as sin reigned in death, so also grace might reign through righteousness to bring eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. Father God, we just thank you. We thank you, Lord. In Hebrews 5, 12 through 14. In fact, though by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you the elementary truths of God word all over again. You need milk, not solid food. Anyone who lo lives on milk, being still an infant, is not acquainted with the teachings about righteousness. But solid food is for the mature, who by constant use have trained themselves to distinguish good from evil. When you want that solid food, everybody, when you want a meaty like faith, you should be able to distinguish good from evil. God says to hate evil and love the good. Hallelujah. Father God, may we hate evil and love the good be mature in our faith strong and mighty in battle like you oh god you bless our food and our water tomorrow shall wear about ourself lord we praise you we reverence you we magnify you this day now and forevermore kuna matata no worries everybody all right so god is in the blessing business he says to go in elevation to go up higher in him all right, fear not be dismayed, for I am with you, for I am your God. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. All right, that's what the Lord says to us. So you all just be blessed. Um, God is healer. Uh, keep worshiping him. Keep praising him. Keep believing. Your, your tooling is not in vain, okay? So he loves us. So let the church say amen, 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 amen. Praise God from all whom blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Repent, and obedience is better than sacrifice. Repent, 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 for the kingdom of God is at hand. Be blessed, everybody. Bye-bye.